it was only a little space. That's all they asked for. Actually, come to think of it, did they ever really ask for it? Anyway, it's all they needed. It wasn't much of a room, really. It was just a space where my family and I would spend our evenings. A small place for a fire to cook, a table where we'd eat, and just the warm glow of fire that lit the room. It's funny when the idea of sharing our home, this upper room with Jesus and his disciples, when it first came up, I had only just heard of Jesus. My neighbors were telling me that he lived in Galilee, and that it was there that he did all sorts of miracles, taught all sorts of things about God's love and what it meant to truly care for one another. Don't get me wrong, though. It's not that I'd never heard these ideas before. It's just that the way he supposedly talked about it made it all sound so real. But then I heard rumors. Rumors that he was referring to himself as the Son of God. I don't know. It's just... It's just that you don't go around saying that you're the Son of God and expect to get away with it. He comes to Jerusalem and rides in on the back of a donkey to shouts of Hosanna. You just don't do that. That's what kings do. That's what Caesar would do. That's not what Jewish rabbis from Galilee do. How did I end up in this mess? Why did Jesus choose my upper room for them to gather? Of all the homes here in Jerusalem, why mine? Why me? Am I a part of this now? Jesus with his disciples in my home? Am I a part of this now? <laughs>